My name is Jason and this is Just Watches. Okay, today we have the first Orion on the channel, which I'm really excited about. This again was borrowed from Craps and Clocks on Instagram. So thank you so much to him and follow him on Instagram. He's let me borrow quite a number of pieces over the years and it's really supportive to the channel. And then thank you for subscribing. If you have, we've reached 7,000 subscribers. So for price and availability, as of the recording of this video, there's only a few of the Mother of Pearl dials left. However, I think Orion will continue to produce the Hellcat and other variants. The price on the Mother of Pearl dial is $835, while the other dials are $725. The case is 39 millimeters in diameter, 46.5 millimeters lug to lug. It's only 10.5 millimeters thick, and then has a 28 millimeter lug width opening. Now sized for my six and three quarters inch wrist, it weighs in at 119 grams. Now the case is mostly brushed with a high polished chamfer running along the entire top of the mid case. The lugs turn down ever so slightly. I will note the ends of the lugs are noticeably sharp. If I wasn't borrowing this watch, I would definitely hit them with some sandpaper to smooth that out. Now the brushing is consistent on the case into the end link, and then we have a high polished bezel, but there's actually radial brushing across the very top surface of the bezel. The case is very thin and has a very sleek look overall. The stock bracelet starts at 20 millimeters. The solid end links have a touch of play. The articulation across the back of the watch is excellent, thanks in part to the end link being negative. And then the articulation between the individual links is very good. Better articulation means a more comfortable bracelet. Now the links are very interesting. I guess they're Y links. I haven't seen this shape before. They're mostly brushed, but there is a high polish section on each of the links. And the way the high polish section is sort of scalloped into the link ties in nicely with the concave bezel which we'll cover later. The bracelet tapers down to 18 millimeters before jumping back up to 20 on the very standard micro brand clasp. It's a double push deployant signed with the Orion logo and then we have a chamfered edge on both sides and high polish. It's fully milled and then there are six micro positions. Now sizing is accomplished with pin and collars but don't get too nervous. The collars are the larger ones so they're slightly more forgiving to size than Seiko's microscopic collars. The case pack is held in place with screws and then helps provide 100 meters of water resistance. The case pack is all high polish with the constellation of Orion which is a nice nod to the name of the brand. The case back has a very subtle curve to it which will help how comfortable the watch is on the wrist. It's a little bit difficult to quantify how much this helps on the overall comfort, but I will say the watch is very comfortable overall. This watch is powered by the Miyota 9039. This is a 28,800 vibration per hour, hacking, hand winding movement with a 42 hour power reserve and a stated accuracy of minus 10 to plus 30 seconds a day. It's also nice to see this is the no date version of the movement so you won't have that ghost position. This one is also keeping great time, running plus two seconds a day with the dial up, and minus four seconds a day with the crown up. The 6.5 millimeter screw down crown is heavily knurled and signed with the Orion logo. The threading and unthreading action is very sure and smooth, and the watch is a pleasure to operate via this crown. The sapphire crystal is just a touch proud of the bezel and has a facet around the edge that will catch some light. It appears to be ever so slightly domed, but you really have to look closely to tell. It's also been treated with anti-reflective coating, which really helps the dial pop. Now the dial on this version, the Black Mother of Pearl, is absolutely gorgeous. In some lights, it just appears gray, but there are jades, purples, and pinks just waiting to pop out in the right light. The effect reminds me of spilled oil, and it can even take on a 3D effect. For printing, starting at the edge of the dial, we have a railroad track. Now adjacent to the cardinal directions, the track is filled in, but between these sections, it's empty. This is an interesting detail and creates a bit of a visual reference when you're reading the time. Now all of the printing on the dial has a silver shimmery effect that's very beautiful, but I believe is the reason that the numerals are not loomed. More on that later. Speaking of numerals, they are present from 1 to 11, and then we have a large double index for 12. The Orion logo and Orion reside at 12, with Hellcat and Automatic at 6. Now I have heard that Nick at Orion even designed these fonts, and if that's not attention to detail, I don't know what is. And then finally, we do have a small crosshair in the center of the dial. Everything is really nicely laid out and symmetrical, and the balance on the dial I feel is just right. The syringe style minute and hour hands are flat, 
filled with loom and have a high polish finish. The ends of both hands are very long, and I love that the minute hand and second hands reach all the way out to that minute track. The second hand is a simple stick with a counterbalance. Now I love the handset on this watch, and in combination with some visual cues on the dial such as the crosshairs, they make the watch very legible overall. Now the loom on this watch is very disappointing, only the hands are loomed, and there isn't any reference, like there's not a dot at 12 that would help orient the watch when you're reading it in the dark. Now I believe this is because all of the printing on the dial has that shimmery finish and the loom may have ruined that effect but personally I would have preferred if the numerals were loomed on this version. Now here's the watch on my six and three quarters inch wrist. 39 millimeters is such a perfect size for me and you can see this watch wears incredibly well on the bracelet. Also at 10.5 millimeters thick with a curved case back you can see it just really melts into the wrist. And I also just wanted to quickly show this watch on a strap. I think it actually looks excellent on a strap and I think this will be a true strap monster of a watch. For pros and cons, starting with the pros, while the dial on this watch is incredible, it isn't overly distracting, but in the right light, it's a real stunner. The bracelet is also extremely comfortable and has an interesting design with just that touch of high polish. And then as you saw on the strap, I think this watch works equally well on a strap or the bracelet, which is nice because it definitely gives you options. For cons, at $835 MS, RP, I want to see a quick adjust bracelet. Brands like Notice, Zellos, Dufresne, and others have introduced quick adjust bracelets at this price point and lower, and I would like to see more brands follow suit. Second, the lack of loom on the numerals is a huge miss for me. I would love to see those numerals brightly loomed in low or no light settings. Finally, this watch is also on the higher end for a Miyota 9000 series movement. I really don't mind the Miyota, but at this price point, if you prefer an ETA, you will be able to get one. Now, as for comparables, for for less, you could get a Hamilton Khaki Field. For about the same price, you could get a Formex Field. Now, I haven't reviewed this specific model, but I did review the Formex Essence, and it was very impressive. And then for a bit more, you could check something out like the Christopher Ward C65 Sandhurst. That is a really cool-looking military field watch. And then I'll just honorably mention a few other watches that use a black mother of pearl dial, if you like the way the dial looks on this Orion. And that is the Sin 556 Mother of Pearl Dial and the Steinhardt Ocean 1 Mother of Pearl Dial. So there you have it, the Orion Hellcat. Let me know what you think about this watch in the comment section below. As always, if you're enjoying the contents of this channel, I invite you to subscribe. And if you like the contents of this individual video, please give it a thumbs up. That's all for this time. My name is Jason, and you have been watching Just Watches.